happy day all this is shrinithi from the department of commerce bcom accounting and finance shift 1 so for today's topic i have taken a ch chosen a topic from innovation management and i am going to be uh, referring or giving you a detailed analysis about what are the various types of innovation so before moving on what are the various contents that we will be looking on in today's session are going to be first one is going to be to understand what is innovation first and how is innovation different from invention and what is the difference between innovation and creativity and then we will be moving on to the topic of what are the various types of innovation yes so before moving further so what is innovation first innovation is actually defined as any idea or a product or an object or even a process that is new that is perceived to be new by an individual or an organization or in any environmental setup then that is going to be considered as an innovation it is not confined only to a product it's it refers to a product or even a process or ways and means through which that particular product is manufactured a new methodology that is being implemented that is also going to be considered as an innovation so innovation is basically derived from a latin word called as innovare innovate means to come uh, to have a new or a, to modify or to have a new effect that is going to be termed as innovate which means innovation so why do we require innovation because of the cutthroat competition that is prevailing in the environment or the competition that is prevailing in the market so in order to sustain that there should be a continuous improvement in the ways in means through which the product or manufactured by the company so how is it going to be delivered or reached through the customers and the ever in order to meet the ever changing or ever 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 demanding requirements of the customers you have to be innovative in order to sustain in this particular competitive environment so that's going to be a major reason why you should be innovating in your business so what is the innovation helps business to meet the various challenges uncertainties what are the various ambiguous positions in which the company is going to be exposed to all these things could be adapted and all these things could be mitigated by having an innovative business environment so having said that innovation is going to be something a new new kind of a product or a new process is innovation and invention one and the same many people will be having this doubt no there is a vast difference between invention and innovation when something is brought into this world of mark or the industry for the first time which was not at all existing in this world prior to that that is going to be your invention any kind of an enhancement or any kind of a customization that is going to be done for the invented product that becomes your innovation let's take a classic example bulb bulb which was invented for first founded that was an invention whatever alterations now we are having led bulbs various kinds of varieties of bulbs or various colors all these things are additional enhancement made to the original invented bulb that is going to be your innovation so we'll take one more thing so i don't know how many of you gen z students would have seen this kind of a device this is a walkman or a portable musical instrument that could be heard by one single individual this was launched or founded in the year 1979 by sony the founder of sony wanted a device or an instrument from which he could listen to music while he is going for a long distance traveling during that particular time he invented this this has a cassette which could store the music or songs for which they will be able to hear music this was an invention this was an invention by itself the latest kinds of apple ipods or the mp3 all these things are also going to be serving the same purpose what is it a portable musical device or an instrument but then it is an enhancement to the original invention of walkman so it's an innovation it's considered as an innovation so i hope it's clear between what is the distinction between invention and innovation now then what is the difference between creativity and innovation then we all know that in order to have an innovative idea we should be creative so what is going to be creativity first when we have to come up with new ideas or new technologies we should be coming up with n number of ideas we will be coming we will be brainstorming for n number of ideas if we are brainstorming for 10 ideas only one or two we will be able to put it into action or one or two will only be feasible to be implemented so of those one or two an idea plus action gives you a creative creativity it contributes to creativity so then how what is how is innovation different from it 
when an idea that is put into action gives you productive results yields you productive results productive results not necessarily in terms of monetary aspect it could also be in terms of efficiency it also could be in terms of quality if there is going to be any kind of enhancement for the original product and it is a productive result then that creativity becomes an innovation so to put it simple creativity is going to be idea plus action whereas innovation is going to be idea plus action plus productivity so i hope the distinction between invention and innovation and creativity and innovation is clear so we'll move forward to what are the various types of innovation that are currently prevailing in the market okay so the first type is going to be product versus process innovation next is going to be radical versus incremental innovation next is socio technological innovation and last one is going to be organizational versus management innovation so we'll look into each of it separately product versus process innovation product innovation is nothing but uh, coming up with or introducing a totally a new product to the environment or to the marketplace so there are there were no such products or an additional enhancement to the existing product or service that is being delivered to the customers an improvement in the product or service that is going to be the product innovation the example could be kindle kindle when everyone were having a physical book reading through physical book kindle came up with the idea of ebooks so that the how the books were reaching to the end consumers were altered completely by amazon by introducing amazon kindle which could actually help in environment by reducing the tree, reducing the cutting of trees at the same time it also increased the number of users who were ready to read books so that's for kindle whereas in case of process innovation it's going to be a case wherein you need to identify process innovation is going to be how are the ways and means through which the product is going to be manufactured we are going to be altering that rather than the end product as such is not going to be changing but then the ways and means through which that particular product is going to be manufactured is going to be getting altered in order to improve the efficiency or in order to improve the performance could be for anything but then that's going to be your process innovation the classic case is going to be for ford in the year 1913 henry ford who is one of the founder of ford he came up with the idea of automating automating the manufacturing process which is nothing but using of automatic lining system wherein the other, rather than manufacturing the product at one go prior to that all the workers of ford you need to go and assemble the product in each and every designation rather than that he came up with a moving assembly line wherein the workers needn't travel anywhere the product by itself will be assembled in the conveyor belt wherein they will be able to assemble the product directly so this reduced the end product as such the car model was not changed it was the same t ford but then the time that was taken for manufacturing one chassis framework was reduced from 13 hours to 90 minutes just 90 minutes in they were able to manufacture or complete the assembling process for one particular chassis framework that was the level of efficacy so in this particular way the productivity was reduction in time taken to manufacture the product so that's your process innovation the next type is going to be radical versus incremental innovation radical innovation is going to be something a drastic innovation for a particular product that is there is no step by step increase in the manufacturing of a product rather from abruptly there is a disruptive environment in the market for this particular launch of a product so that's going to be a radical innovation so anything right from our smartphones drastically there is a disruption how we were just using a normal mobile phone along with that we also had a laptop we had an mp3 player we had a video game set but then all these things put together we had it in one mobile phone and replacing cameras everything together we have it in one mobile phone smartphone by itself was a radical innovation a uh, even better example is going to be netflix i i'm sure most of you would be subscriber of netflix what is netflix netflix actually started or founded in the year 1997 as a dvd rental store they were not into this business but then subsequently they understood the market of providing the movies or the latest movies to the to the users or the subscribers through a digital platform they were the pioneers in this field 
So they understood it. So that's a da radical innovation. How? Rather than going and checking for movies out there in the theater, people started subscribing only for the OTT platform so that they could know within a month or so we will be able to watch movies in Netflix. So that's the kind of a radical impact that a radical innovation could have. So the other innovation is going to be your incremental innovation. Rather than having a disruptive innovation, you are going to be have a stage by stage increase in the or the stage by stage evolution of that particular product. The example could be Apple iPhone, iPhone 12, iPhone 13 or 10, 11. There is going to be a minor or a made a minimal change to the particular product. It could be either for an introduction of a face recognition or it could be introduction of a fingerprint or a better enhanced camera quality. All these things are going to be for your incremental innovation. So the next type of innovation is going to be socio-technical innovation. Socio-technical innovations are nothing but how technological advancements are having a major impact on the social system. Social system as such could be with respect to your education or it could be with respect to how the social networking as such is being held. All these things could be have how the technology is influencing the social system in the environment. It could also be based upon the cultural aspects as well. So say for the examples could be the evolution of communication system is going to be a classic example for it. Earlier it was through telegram, next it went to uh, posters, postal cards, next it went on to any kind of a communication through tel uh, microphones, tel telephones, then it went on to mobile phones, messaging apps, then various kinds of a, various kinds of evolution with respect to emails, then come the social media interactions. All these things are going to be various kinds of socio-technical innovations. Whereas it could also be having an impact with respect to how the people are going to be evolving or interacting in case of educational system or healthcare system for that matter. Major disruption done by Baijus is also great. See, the Baijus were able to identify the potential of an e-learning app and they were able to bring in various sources through which they were able to make a tap on the market that was not utilized by many people. So that's also going to be classified under your socio-technical innovation. The next one and the last type of category is going to be your organization versus management innovation. Organization innovation is nothing but how the various organizational structure that are being held by the people in an organization. It could be either with respect to line, line organization or a flat organization, the kind of a hierarchy that are going to be held in place. All these things amounts to your organizational innovation. So if there is going to be any change that is going to be brought in by the company or the various kinds of methods through which the organization is going to be acquiring other organization, it could also have an impact. So the, all those things, any new method that is being adopted in the organization with respect to the structure or the hierarchy or the acquisition of various other organization, all these things are going to be termed as organizational innovation. The next category is going to be your management innovation. Management innovation is nothing but with respect to the policies, rules and procedures, what are the various techniques that are going to be adopted for the people or the employees in the work workplace. All these things amounts to your management innovation. Thanks to COVID, we will be able to find that many people started working, many organization or companies actually encouraged people to work from work from home or with respect to the kind of technology they were able to handle it better. So all these things are management innovation. So even before COVID, there were many companies who actually wanted the employees to have it as a work from home or flexible working hours or the flexible holidays. All these things were additional policies or procedures that the companies were able to bring in in order to improve the employee satisfaction. So all these things are actually contributing towards your management innovation. Both management innovation and organization innovation go hand in hand. If there is any kind of change in your organizational structure, it could also have an impact on your management policies. And if there is any kind of management policies change, it will also have an indirect influence on the organizational structure of the company. So with that, these are the basic classification with respect to various types of innovation. I hope the content was clear with respect to what is innovation. What is the difference between innovation and invention and innovation and creativity and what are the various types of innovation? So for you to have it as an activity, so I would like you all to come up with a company or a product 
and associated to the various types of innovations that we have discussed now. So when you are going to be coming up, you will be having n number of products and companies that are going in line. So come up with two or more products so that it will be more interesting for you to learn. I hope the session was helpful. Happy learning and thank you.